Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Since the Sephora savings event is right around the corner, today I've partnered with Sephora at Kohl's to share my new holy grail favorites and some of my most restocked products from Sephora. So you know, I highly recommend everything we're gonna talk about today. I think I for one am more excited than normal, if that's even possible, because the savings event means the end of the makeup no buy that I started at the very beginning of the year. So I am ready for this. I cannot wait to restock some of my favorites, cross things off my wish list. I've been feverishly refreshing the website to see what's new and adding things to my shopping cart. I know this is always one of the biggest, most exciting shopping events of the year for beauty. But one thing I don't hear nearly enough people talking about is how when you shop the Sephora savings event through Kohl's, not only do you earn your Beauty Insider points, you save money, but you also earn Kohl's rewards, which can then be turned into Kohl's cash and used later on. It really is like having the cheat code to the Sephora savings event. I don't know why you would leave Kohl's rewards on the table. And of course, I want you to save as much money as possible and take advantage of all of the promotions. So make sure if you haven't done so already, Sign up for the Kohl's Rewards program as well as Beauty Insider. I will make sure all of the important dates, details, everything you need to know about the savings event will be down below in the description box. Let's start with some new holy grails. I think it really says something when you try a product for the first time or the first few times and you love it so much that it instantly goes in the top drawer and suddenly you can't even imagine doing your makeup without it. That's when you know a product is really great. That's how I feel about this eyeliner. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I am the queen of the wing. I do liquid eyeliner just about every single day. I've tried so many different brands of liquid eyeliner and this has become my favorite. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and I'm using shade Deepest Black. It also comes in brown. It truly lives up to the name Easy Glide. It does not drag across the lash line. I don't think I've ever messed up my eyeliner. Of course, now I need to knock on wood, but sometimes if I'm using, maybe it's an older eyeliner or sometimes the brush is just a little bit too thick and you get sort of that bumpy line. That never happens with this because it's a brush, not a sponge tip, and it is so fine. It's very long and it's so thin. So I feel like it's really user friendly. It's also very beginner friendly. If you're not really comfortable doing liquid eyeliner yet, this is where I would begin. It's almost foolproof. My eyeliner routine is now so much quicker in the morning, so it's faster, it's easier, and it is truly the blackest of black. I love that this is available in chocolate, so that is definitely going in my shopping cart during the savings event. I cannot wait to pick up the other shade. I really like the black as well, but especially for spring, summer makeup, lighter makeup, I do think the brown will be a really nice option. I've also really been loving the new Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is called We're Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer, and this is shade 120N. My first impression of this concealer was that it was incredible, and then I used this recently during a photo shoot when I was updating my headshots, so I was under harsh lights, I was sweating, it had to be on for hours, and it had to look good. It had to look amazing for hours at a time, photographed beautifully, the videos came out great. So that to me means that this is a tried and true concealer. I've been keeping it in the top drawer and kind of checks all of the boxes for me. I'm usually very picky when it comes to new concealers. The coverage is medium buildable, very good coverage. So if you really need to cover something, you don't want just a little brightness, a little highlighting. If you have dark circles or redness, this is going to cover it, but it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look heavy. It still has a pretty thin consistency. It works for light, natural, everyday makeup. It's great for touch-ups, but it can also be part of your full glam makeup routine. So it's very versatile and I've been loving this. Mascara is another really tricky category. We're very picky, we have our personal preferences. And once you find a mascara that you love, you basically stick with it because it can be really difficult to find something else that's better. But ever since I tried this Tower 28 Make Waves mascara, I've loved it. And I'm almost done with this tube, so we can't judge this tube. It's very dry, it's almost gone, and I just don't have the heart to throw it away yet or throw it in my empties bin because I feel like I can squeeze a little bit more, a few more uses out of it. So this, I'm definitely going to replace. This wand is everything. It's slightly curved, 
You have really short bristles on one side, they're a little bit longer on the other. So what I like to do is get really close to the base of the lashes and then you can comb through. You get a lot of separation with this type of comb. And then if you want volume, you can build it up, but it makes it nice and easy for you to get the shorter lashes down at the bottom and you can get super close to the base of the lash. That's what I love. I can't do a wand that's too big because I end up poking myself in the eye and making a mess of it. And the formula is amazing too. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake. It's really perfect. Checks all of the boxes for me. And this poor mascara is just begging to be thrown away. I definitely need to replace this, but I've been holding out because I wanted to take advantage of the savings event. It's amazing. And of course we can't talk about new favorite holy grail products that are worthy of the top drawer without mentioning the go-to everyday eye. In case there were still any questions about how I do my eye makeup, this is it. These are my go-to products. They're amazing. I haven't needed to restock them yet, but these will be most restocked products in the future. Starting with the Merit Solo Shadow. This is shade Vachetta. It is the perfect medium intensity brown. It goes on so thin, it's very easy to blend. You have to work with it as soon as you apply. You don't wanna let this dry down too long before you go to blend it. But as long as you just apply it with your fingers, maybe a brush, and then you just tap it out or blend it out with the brush, it is so easy to use, seamless, effortless, one and done, get out the door. If you are an easy, very simple eyeshadow person, I think you will love these. You can tell this cream eyeshadow gets love because I hit pan a while ago and now I'm slowly making my way around the outer ring. I still feel like I'm going to get several months use out of this and I've been using it just about every single day for a couple months. So it lasts a really long time. It's not like you're gonna go through it really quickly. I feel like this product is an incredible value. This alone is the perfect neutral matte shadow. So to kick it up a notch and add a little shimmer, a little luminosity, I use this on top. This is from Give Beauty. It's the I See and Sparkle multi-dimensional eye pigment in the shade Dazzle. It is gorgeous. It is the perfect copper. It looks really shimmery because it's a pigment. It looks intense if you were to swatch it. But on the eyes, it just looks pretty. It just reflects light in a really nice way. It's not super chunky. It's not glittery. It's not messy either. As long as you go in with the cream shadow first and then tap a little bit of the pigment, it sort of grips all of the sparkle. It holds onto it, acts as almost a glitter glue. So that way you don't make a mess all over your cheeks. And I know I've talked about this pigment so much. I've shouted my love from the mountaintops, but I still get so many questions. What's on your eyes? What's on your eyes? I don't think people really believe me when I say I use this every day. This is what people are talking about. It looks gorgeous. And these are my everyday lip products. It's what I use to take care of my lips. I don't go a day without using them. Let's start with the lip liners. These are from Sephora Collection. It's one of my favorite deals you can get during the Sephora savings event. All Beauty Insider tiers get 30% off Sephora Collection and I swear by these lip liners. Ever since I discovered them, as you can see, I've formed a bit of an addiction and I've picked up so many other shades. This one, the one that I'm wearing today, I'll probably need to restock because it's just about finished. This was the one that started it all. 04 Creme de la Creme. It is such a beautiful peachy nude. What I love so much about these lip liners is the fact that they're gel, they're retractable. Once they dry down on the lips, they are pretty smudge proof, but I do like a lip liner that glides on easily. That way it's not going to drag. You're gonna get a really easy line. And then if you want to fill in your lips or you wanna smudge it around, blend it out with your fingers, it's really easy to do so. It also comes with a little sharpener at the bottom. So this part comes right off and then you just twist from the bottom to bring up the product. I'm a little bit sad that this one is almost gone, but it's perfect timing because that way when I replace it, I'll get 30% off. I also really love the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is one of those products that I tried one and then suddenly I couldn't help myself. I started picking up all of them. So anytime she comes out with a new flavor, of course I feel like I need to add it to my collection. I'm almost done with the pink sugar. This one just lives in my purse. I'm always reapplying throughout the day. Anytime my lips are feeling dry, but also anytime I just want a little lip gloss, 
because it does have a little color, it has a beautiful glossy finish, but then it feels like you're truly treating your lips because it feels really nourishing as well. So these become really addicting because I love the way they look, I love the way they feel, and I wanna say I have maybe four or five of these lip butters, but the pink sugar is probably my favorite, so I may end up replacing this one. And then every night before I go to bed, it's the last step of my evening skincare routine. I apply my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is another product that I just cannot go without. I think I have mango upstairs in my drawer. That's the current flavor, but they have so many great flavors. I have a bunch of them. This one is berry. I think this is kind of the classic flavor. It's really nice. When I wake up the next morning, my lips still feel really soft and supple and I've noticed a huge difference since being really consistent with this lip mask that when I wear matte lipsticks or any lipstick for that matter my lips don't feel as dry they don't look as cracked I feel like my lips are just smoother throughout the day because I use this every single night another new favorite that's become part of my evening skincare routine is this Laneige cream skin Sarah peptide toner and moisturizer it's such a unique product because it really is like a liquid moisturizer so it feels like you're crossing off so many different steps in your skincare routine with just one product but the fact that it contains ceramides and peptides means it is incredible for your skin I know in a previous video I had mentioned my new skincare routine in the evenings and a technique that we'll call the moisture sandwich well this is kind of the main piece of the moisture sandwich it's a great prep step it's a great final step it's a great in-between step anytime you need moisture throughout the day you can refresh using this product it's really interesting the Sephora collection pro makeup brushes are some of the very best makeup brushes I have ever used and I use them every single time I do my makeup but I always like to wait for a savings event to pick them up because they are 30% off and I swear this is one of the most underrated products at Sephora although Maybe not so much anymore. I'm starting to hear more and more people talk about these brushes and they should because they're amazing. I think these rival some of the most expensive luxury brushes. They feel like they were built to stand the test of time. These are truly makeup artist quality brushes. I do not baby my brushes and I swear they have not lost shape. I don't think they've lost a single hair. Anytime I wash them, I really scrubby scrubby and they're just like new. Whenever they're finished drying, it's amazing. So I'm always looking for other brushes to pick up, whether it's a new foundation brush, concealer brush. I like to have backups of all of my favorites. The eye brushes, I feel like I can never get enough of them. I have done a dedicated video in the past where I showed all of my favorites, but just to refresh your memory, I pulled out some of my favorites that I highly recommend. The Pro Foundation 47 brush, this is a must have. The Pro Concealer 71 brush sort of looks like a mini 47. This is incredible for concealer. It's the perfect shape. And then I really like the Pro Blush 99 brush. I also have the other blush brush, but the 99 I think is amazing. This also works really great for setting powder underneath the eyes. And then for eyes, I use these every single day. The Pro Shadow 18 brush is a great smudger. This is perfect for buffing out the lower lash line. The Pro Crease 26 brush is a great fluffy brush. I think you can never have too many. The Pro Crease 19 brush is great for building up a little depth in the crease. And then for the outer corner, I really like the Pro Crease 24 brush. This is amazing for, again, more detailed eye looks. The reason I recommend these every single time there's a Sephora savings event is because I truly believe in them and I know that you will love them and you won't be disappointed and you'll be so excited to have incredible makeup brushes. They're so high quality. Makeup brushes sometimes feel like an investment because you shouldn't have to replace makeup brushes all that often. Even the brushes that I've had for the longest time, my oldest Sephora collection pro brushes, they look brand new. The price is always really reasonable on these and then to save 30% off, to me this is one of the best buys you can get. Since we are in spring, the weather's been warming up, you might be starting to think about summer vacations, getting outside, packing all of your sweaters back up into storage. So these are some of my favorite products for glowing skin. And I think this might be my number one most restocked product from Sephora. This is the KP Bump Eraser from First Aid Beauty. This came straight from the shower. That's why it looks a little bit 
crinkled. I honestly couldn't tell you how many tubes of this I've gone through, at least a couple tubes every year for the past few years. And since moving into the new house, my husband and I share the same bathroom and he really loves it as well. So we're starting to go through it a little bit quicker. It is the best exfoliator I have ever tried. It's amazing. It has the perfect grit. So it's a physical exfoliator, but it also has other ingredients so that it's a chemical exfoliator as well but it also contains oatmeal, so it's nice and soothing on the skin. I swear by this when I'm sunless tanning because before sunless tan, you're supposed to exfoliate your body. It leaves your skin feeling baby soft. You really feel like you are truly scraping the top layer of skin, so the surface feels nice and smooth. All of your lotions, potions, all of the products that you apply on top are going to penetrate deeper into the skin. It's just amazing. Once you've properly exfoliated, then you can sunless tan. One of my current favorites is the Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Oil Mist. I think of it more as a buildable tan because it's an oil mist, it doesn't dry out your skin, it's actually really hydrating, and because it's clear, it's not going to stain your sheets or stain your clothes. If you forget to tan the night before, or maybe you were just feeling too lazy, too tired, I know I've definitely been there, you can apply this in the morning as soon as you get up and the tan will develop throughout the day. And it has hyaluronic acid, squalene, argan, grapeseed, and avocado oils, so it's really incredible. And of course, I'm always restocking my shower favorites, including the body washes from Sol de Janeiro. I've gone through so many bottles of their body wash. I love every single scent. The fragrances are truly aromatherapy. I feel like I'm at a spa on a luxurious vacation. They smell incredible. I love all of them. I'm definitely going to be stocking up. I even have all of my family members hooked on the Sol de Janeiro body wash. Also from Sol de Janeiro, it's time for me to restock my Rio Dio. This is one of the best natural deodorants I've ever tried because the smell is amazing, but it truly does hide any bad odors. It's aluminum free. I love that these are refillable. And my favorite fragrance is the Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. It smells so nice. Every single year for the past few years, I've gone through at least four or five tubs of the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is the best cleansing balm on the market. It's so gentle, it removes everything. You don't have to rub or tug. It doesn't matter if it's stubborn eye makeup, mascara. It glides right off the face. Sunscreens, long wear foundations, gone. And the best part is when you rinse it off your face, it doesn't leave any sort of residue and it doesn't strip the skin. So this is hands down my favorite. I always like to pick up a few of these during the savings event. I have one final hair product to talk about. It's the Chris Appleton in Color Wow Money Mask. And if you've watched any of my annual empties videos, you've seen multiple tubs of this because I always use it. I always go through it and I cannot live without it. It is one of those hair care products that I swear it makes the biggest difference the first time you use it. I'm always very careful about brushing or combing through my hair when it's wet because that's when your hair is in its most vulnerable state and prone to breakage. So I love that this mask does such an incredible job detangling my hair. That way it's so much easier to style and I feel like it truly does make such a huge difference with breakage. It's also very hydrating and it leaves your hair looking so shiny. And that completes my list of favorites and recommendations for the Sephora savings event. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face, all of the information on Kohl's Rewards and the Beauty Insider program will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.